Who is so, your favorite Avenger? My favorite, oh, Ant-Man. Ant-Man? You love Ant-Man. I love Ant-Man. You love Ant-Man. Oh, have, oh love. wow. Yeah. I have a loophole about Ant-Man. We'll get to it later. Well, but let's get to it now. Loophole. You want to get to it now? Yeah. Okay. Money. Door so silent. <laughs> So it's now the morning after Atlantic City, day 105, and I've been getting on Kiki's nerve by saying everything is Taki Taki. We gotta get on the Taki, and then we're already checked out, but we have to drop the Takis off. And then we're gonna go get something to eat, and then go back to your parents and get the Takis. <laughs> Bring the Takis home, and then maybe we'll take a little Taki, then go see a Taki tonight. <laughs> so what you're saying is you understood every Taki? <laughs> I'm tired of the Nappy Vlogs Day 105 <laughs> <laughs> And um, we just got back from seeing Avengers yeah. Which one was it? Endgame 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 We just uh decided to spoil alert and um, before I spoil alert just wanted to let you know this is gonna be a spoil alert we're gonna spoil every alert yeah every alert will be spoiled this is wine and Avenger Avengers recap with spoil alerts with Mike and Katie cheers <laughs> um, spoil alert Iron Man dies mm. rest in peace so sad Tony Stark my fave yeah, good movie. Read. I liked it. Especially after all the background of him having like a wife and children too. Like a wife and a child and like he had like this great family life going and then it was like, and um, bye. Yeah. Sacrificed myself at the end. For the greater of humanity, you did a good thing, but like. Boy, bye. Tough, tough, yeah. tough loss. And it wasn't an instant death either, which is always easier. Like a bullet to the head, easier in a movie. This was kind of like a slow, like he had like, molten lava all over so he like melted to death and that's that's a little tough to take yeah and then for all and then radiation po poisoning gamma radiation that's right yeah, yeah you're right you're right um, yeah gamma. so he like melted from the inside which is a little harder than like pew yeah pew pew pew, pew like pew, a quick pew, little pew. a quick little like pew pew yep. dead like a bullet to the chest or like a knock with Thanos's what is the thing? What does he have? A glove. No, he has the double-sided knife. Oh yeah. Slice him in half, make it easy. Um, so Thanos, good guy or bad guy? Thanos is a bad guy with good intentions. Aren't they all? Or a good guy with bad intentions. I guess True again. Same. Yeah. His, I think his whole deal, does it tie into the environmentalist movement that maybe overpopulation is a problem on planet Earth? Is that it? Yeah, it was a nice interview with Josh Brolin, um, where... Who plays Thanos? Yeah. By the way. Where he related it to current times. Mm -hmm. And it does make sense, because if you look, if you look at humanity without being a part of humanity, which he isn't, because he's not from planet Earth, so he's looking at it from the outside, you can see that the problem is that there's too many people spinning their wheels, doing, you know, what half of that amount of people could do a better job at to keep the environment alive. Yeah, but you have to be outside of it, which in our in our Earth technically right now, there's nobody outside of planet Earth could, that could tell us that, but Thanos is the person that's outside of our planet telling us like what the problem is, trying to fix it. So he's a good guy with bad intentions, or yeah, a bad guy with good intentions. intentions. Um, so, yeah. Who is so, your favorite Avenger? My favorite, oh, Ant-Man. Ant-Man? You love Ant-Man. I love Ant-Man. You love Ant-Man. Oh, oh love. wow. Yeah. I have a loophole about Ant-Man. We'll get to it later. Well, but let's get to it now. Loophole. You want to get to it now? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, we have to We have to admit that we have not watched the Avengers religiously since the beginning. I've seen every one once or twice. I have Avengers. not. I have dabbled when Mike is interested in going and seeing an Avengers movie. I'm like, yeah, okay, I will half sleep through this. I'll go. Okay, so let's hear about this uh, loophole okay. with Ant-Man. Okay, but but to start it off, maybe you have watched every Avengers movie. I have not. 
So what's the Ant-Man movie? I don't super care about it. But I have seen the individual movies where it's like, Ant-Man. Uh, Thor, Ant-Man. Yeah, like I've seen the individual ones. They're a little bit more easy for me to like get into. So what's the loophole? I'm getting there. Well, I'm The waiting. loophole is that Thanos is this like God type figure from outside of Earth, right? I don't know what his backstory is because I probably missed that movie. But he's like this big hulking character, this humongous chin person. What's the loophole? I'm getting to it. Let's hear it. The loophole is that Ant-Man is a full-size man that can shrink himself down to a molecular level and why would he not jump up Thanos' ass and then turn into a full-size man and rip him into two? I read it online. I can't take credit for it. But like once I read it, I was like, true. that's, 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 that's good. There's there's nothing saying that he couldn't go on a molecular level, fly up Thanos' asshole, and then blow up into a full-size man, or even a bigger Where than a full-size man. Remember, he was a huge man. He was like a hundred-foot man at the end. In the end scene, the battle scene, blow up to be 150 feet tall inside of this guy's body. You have him swallow you. You don't even have to go up his butthole. You don't have even have to like get weird with it. You could like cool, go right up his nose, go down his throat, go so, up his butthole, and then blow up into a 150 foot man, and he's dead. Where was Ant Man when Thanos should have been getting killed? You mean at any time? At any point in the entire movie, Ant Man could have flown right into that man's body through a pore. <laughs> <laughs> through a pore. <laughs> yeah, through but... a pore, and then just explode into this like Godzilla sized man and kill him. And I read this online, what this, if is his, not, what if this his, is not an original thought. This what if is his skin that was so online. thick that then Ant-Man's neck snapped? Nobody ever said anything about him having thick skin. He's huge. Yeah, just because you're huge, PSA, just because you're huge doesn't mean you have thick skin. Yeah. You can still be very sensitive. He stinks. Thanos. He got beat with like a hammer. He got like punched with like a sword. He's like, he's not invincible. That's the thing. That's the thing also about these movies is that all of them are so close to invincible that you don't even worry about them when you go into like a fight. Like, yeah. um, who was it? Thor, Tony Stark, and that fucking guy that I hate. The, the brain, Hulk? the brain guy that I hate. Doctor. Brain, brain thought. Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange. I'm not into it. I don't get it. I don't get it. The three of them approach him in battle. It wasn't Doctor Strange. It was somebody else. It doesn't matter. They approach him in battle. This guy is twice their height. Like this. He's 16 feet tall, feet tall and he's made of brick walls. And they're getting like punched by him and they're fine. So like, can you die in a regular way? Because one punch from Thanos should kill you. Yeah. But it didn't kill you. Yeah, Ant-Man should have just climbed in his ear and then cut his veins in his brain. Ear! That's even better. Ear. Okay, I I said nose, mouth, or butthole, but ear, ear works. He should have just gone to his ear and then just fried his brain. That's what I'm saying. Weird. So, Avengers. Which one did we just see? Infinity War? <clears throat> no. Endgame. Endgame. Yeah. Endgame. I got them mixed up. I got DNL mixed up. <laughs> um, we just saw Endgame. Were made of wool. Yeah, so... Um, mm -hmm. Whew. So then the Captain America passed the torch on. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I don't remember what your answer was. What is your favorite Avenger? Ant-Man. Ant-Man. Oh, what's yours? I love Ant-Man. Scar Joe's nice. Scar Joe's good, but I don't, I don't like a brooding character. You know, like I get it, you've gone through tough times. Like, I don't know. Oh, I, I get it, you just died for the benefit of the world. I, I guess think, that's not good enough. I think... I want to say Elizabeth Olsen just because I'm so... Elizabeth Olsen? Elizabeth Olsen just because I'm so invested in her as a person and I feel like she was... I don't know where she came from in this Marvel Universe because I don't know... I don't know. I must have missed that movie. But she was really strong. Captain Marvel? I, I just, just came... Oh no, Captain Marvel, that's Brie Larson. Oh, she's, yeah. she's awesome well, too. Both of them are really awesome. Because we didn't give it, we tell you we didn't tell you that we were going to be pros at these movies. We yeah, we don't know these <laughs> we don't know these movies very well at all. Yeah, 
but Elizabeth Olsen like went up on Thanos yeah. and like got right up in his face and she's like, I was there at the battle of, I said Gallipoli, <laughs> right? The, the, the battle, battle of the bulge. The battle of the bulge. <laughs> and he's like, I don't even know who you are. And she's like, well, you're gonna. And she went like this and picked up like I just saw the continents. Too. Yeah. Like big chunks of earth and like smashed them on she him. She picked up two tectonic plates. So like plates. she she like two tectonic yeah, plates. She she's got my vote. I I I, I vote of Elizabeth Olsen. Great choice. And what is what is she called? We looked it up because I didn't have a clue who she was. Oh, uh, the, the Scarlet Universe. Witch. Scarlet Witch. Yeah. That's why. Witchy. Witchy woman. That's it. I love a witchy woman with with uh mm. the powers of moving continents. Time travel was cool. It's cool how they were very chronologically in place <clears throat> and up to all the current events and real like real time things that the viewer is part of. Like when they were like, you really thought time travel would be like back to the future. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing too, is that time travel as a science is so confusing that you have to you have to kind of dumb it down to like back to the future levels. Is there so a that's chance? what people think that time travel is, but time travel in general he even makes the example and he says like, I'm not gonna go back and bet on sports games. I'm not gonna go back and yeah. you know talk to my old self. But those two things, you and I could be passing on the street and I could pass you a little too close and you move out of your way and you get hit by a car and then the entire world is different. Yeah. Like that's what time travel is. Time travel, that's why they said like on a molecular level, time travel is so dangerous. True, but then I've also heard other theories that every time you time travel, you're ending up in different dimensions and realities, and you're never on that same timeline again. Well, you can't. I mean, that's that's the basis of time travel is that you can you can never, no matter where you start in the future, and it's nice in like a novel where you like you can never what you know maybe if I met my wife a day earlier, it would be different. You can no. never what no. It's it's the idea of like passing someone a napkin or like giving someone like an no, extra piece of ice in their water. Like there's that's another the theory kind of that's not that even the same off. reality that you are from. No reality can ever be the same if you time travel. Because no matter what you do when you go back, you will affect think you're what I'm the saying. butterfly effect of what happened. I don't in think the you get what I'm saying. If we went and time travel right now in nineteen ninety one, the place we would mm -hmm. end up was a completely different timeline than even though it's the same than the nineteen ninety one that we were in. No, I think you can time travel back to 1991, but when you get back, I'm you 1991 won't be the same. Is that what you're saying? No, but it's funny because... What are you saying? I just did twice. Say it again. So watch the vlog tomorrow. Well, say it again. Just watch the vlog again don't, tomorrow. Don't, don't threaten me with your vlog. <laughs> Tell uh, me again. Tell me again. I'm curious. I want to hear it. There's another theory that when you time travel and when you go to the point in the past, you're in a different dimension and reality of the one that you were in so it's identical and you can make that change but it's not the same timeline that you were ever in so that's it's just another dimension that's a multiverse theory yeah and that's what this marvel kind of tapped into but um so anyway marvel what was it infinity war end game oh end game um end game was i enjoyed it that's great Enjoyed it a lot what more. What's your favorite other. part? Um, I know mine. I'll tell mine. What, what do you it? think of yours? My favorite part is um, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. Iron Man dies. <laughs> that was her favorite part. No, there's a battle happening, and Thanos and his like army of like ugly like Rottweilers and like zombie like walking dead people are like coming down this hill and the the avengers are fucked there's like seven of them there's like seven trillion of these like battle zombie things and then these portals open up and fucking wakanda comes out and wakanda's like hoo, 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 hoo. and they all have like spears and they have the fucking like gold paint and they're just like Hoo, hoo, hoo. Out of that portal, that was my favorite part. That was a good part. <laughs> that was a great part. And then all the all the armies from all of the movies that I haven't seen, they came out of portals too. But I have seen Black Panther 
and I enjoyed the the Wakanda scene. That was a cool scene. Of them like, hoo, 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 with like spears. That was, that was fucking very cool. Very cool. And it was like, we're all working together. And then it was like, we're all working together against the darkness. Yeah, I had a couple funny scenes. I liked when the Hulk reintroduced himself. Oh, so cute as like a big like gym rat. No, not sexy as a gym, gym rat. rat. No, like as a re like a refined like. Hulk is a sexy gym cocaine rat. Cocaine addict. No. Hulk is a sexy gym rat in this movie. He like took. I mean, no, he was technically a gym rat in the other ones because he was fucking enormous. No, that's like a that's like a that's like a um like a protein shake like steroid gym rat like this was like a refined like i go to the gym for my my own well-being okay. and he looked really good in a crew next sweater yeah it was green, what you, got still, against green? you know what it's mark ruffalo he still looks good yeah he was funny really cute yeah you love the old scene of the old man um, captain america being all old see i thought i was gonna cry at the end of the movie and i think i had prepared myself for it to be much sadder than i thought it was because that's actually a happy ending for yeah. for captain america spoiler alert spoiler spoiler alert. Little, 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 little. Spoiler. <laughs> spoiler alert so all in all spoiler alert. all in all good movie right yeah, but talk about Captain America. That's a great spoiler alert. Oh, yada, yada, yada. You watch the movie. And Captain America like lived a... a cool life. He loved a girl, yada, yada, yada. He got frozen, yada, yada, yada. 70 years later, she's gone because he was seven years later. Yada, yada, yada. He lives a crazy Avenger life, yada, yada, yada. He, he has, has to bring the stones back. Yeah, yada, yada, yada. Oh, okay. And then he ends up bringing some fucking stones back. And then, yada, yada, yada. He had the chance to stay in the past. He did, yada, yada, yada. And then he was old. <laughs> he was so old. So old. And, like, computer animated, like, old Chris Evans, too. Michael like, Douglas not... looked young. Oh, was my God. Hilarious. Because he still had an old man voice, because it's not like you could no, make no, his, his voice, voice younger still the because same. Yeah, that would be yeah. weird. Make my head smaller. Make my head smaller. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, they age progressed Michael Douglas back to being like, what, like 40, I would guess? Maybe even younger. But they age progressed Chris Evans at age his. digressed. Per progress. No, progress is. Pro is forward. future. Die is back. Yeah, and they age digress Michael Douglas. Yeah, and I said they age progress. You said Chris they Evans. age progress Michael no, Douglas. No, we're leaving this in here. Progress we're leaving Chris this in Evans. here. We're leaving Whatever. this all in here. I don't give a shit. Chris Evans looked a hundred at the end, and it was wee, actually wee, him. Wee. This is the wrap it up sign, folks. <laughs> I guess we're done. I guess we're done. That's the <laughs> Avengers from uh. Avengers. Spoiler. Uh, Mike and Gigi. Yeah. yeah great that's job. It. <laughs> That's it. We hope That's you... it. We did our best. <laughs> we did our best. We, hope we tried really something. hard by watching two thirds of the movies and not knowing who anyone was. You didn't know who anyone was in this movie uh -huh. either. You said Red Man in the last one. Yeah, but there was Green Girl. I, mean... <laughs> <laughs> I do love Marvel movies. What was the Infinity War? You were like, oh, this red guy. This red guy. Yeah. Red guy, that's his name. That's not his name, no, though. No, the Adventures of Red Guy. <laughs> yeah. This red guy. Came before Wolverine, but after Spider-Man 10. Wolverine is a whole different situation. Yeah, you're a whole different We're talking situation. about a whole different situation now. The X-Men and the Avengers are not in the same universe. Uh, X-Men, ha I'd have to sit down and fucking think about it. Well, <laughs> we're probably pissing off so many I Avengers fans right I now. I don't know. But fortunately, no, all you diehard Avengers and X-Men fans, no, they I can't do be love the them same, all. They I can't just, be in the same universe. I am um, an average Joe and don't know the shit well. Thanks for tuning in to Wine Avengers Recap Spoiler Alert. With I'm so Mike. glad we could really explain this movie top to tail for you. Top to tail. In a really great fashion. We, we really explained it to you in a way that you can understand. And since so, I can't... So cheers. Since I can't sample the theme song, I'll sing it right now. <laughs> Avengers. Yeah. Uh, this is the end of the nappy vlog because I want to go eat some turkey sausage. Thanks for tuning in. Day 106 or 5. 5, I think. Uh, 
I think it's five. Okay. Five or six. Who cares? Well, thank you again. Movie Corner with Mike and Cake. Yeah, Have a thanks. good morning, afternoon, and night. Bye. Bye. Money. Money.